In this video, I'm going to show you track edit grouping in Reaper. Now track edit grouping was just added to Reaper very recently, and it adds some functionality when editing to the grouping functions. Let's take a look. Let's start by reviewing how to group things in Reaper. To create a temporary group, I have a project here with some drums, bass, some guitars, and a vocal. Let's say I wanted to group my drums. I could select the tracks, and that creates a temporary group. We could adjust the volume right here, we can see that better in the mixer. Right over here, I could adjust my volume by grabbing any of the faders like this, and they all work together. And the same for muting and sewing and going into record. Because all the tracks are selected, they behave as a temporary group. But there are times you want more permanent groups where we can create our own custom groups to use on our projects. So the way to do that is select all the tracks, type Shift G, and that opens up the groupings dialog. We have different parameters to choose what's going to group. We could choose all of them. We could choose just the lead or follow. We'll go back to that in a bit. But for now, let's choose our volume, our pan, and our mute. But we won't choose our solo or recording. So now, even if these tracks aren't selected, we could adjust the volume on any of them and adjust them all as a group. Do the same with muting, but it won't work on solo, as we didn't set up that parameter with the group. Or record, that works individually. Let's clear this group for now. Now to group our items for editing on our timeline, we used to have to do that with item grouping. In other words, we'd select by lassoing our items like this. We're just selecting them one at a time. Then we type G and that groups our items, as we can see right over here. So if I move this item, they all move together. Or this one, or this one. And if we split our items, they all split together because these items are all grouped together. But before this new feature, we had to select and group our items each time, every time we created or recorded new ones. But with this new feature, we don't have to. We could edit our items based on our tracks or track grouping. So let's select our drums again, Shift G, and this time we could choose Media Razor Edit for Lead or Follow. Let's choose both for now. And now, even though these items aren't grouped, they're going to behave like a group because we created a track group for editing. So I can grab this item. Notice they all select. And we can move them as a group. We can fade them in, fade them out, and it does it to all the items on those grouped tracks. The same with splitting. Split one, and they all split. But this only works when dealing with enclosed items. In other words, these items all start and end at the same time. So if I move one, they all move together. But if I turn off grouping right over here and split my snare, this item is now smaller than these. So if we turn this back on and move this one, they all move together because they're all grouped. But if we just move this one because it's smaller than these, it moves independently because it only groups items on group tracks when the bigger item is moving the smaller item or if they're all the same size. So if I make a small one down here and just move this item, it just moves that item. Or if we move this one, it moves both of them because this one encloses this one. We can move them all by moving this one or any of the bigger items involved, like this one. So it's important to know that distinction. 
that only items that enclose smaller items or that start and end in the same place are going to automatically group. Now let's check out leader and follower. Let's say we wanted to group our guitars. Let's select the first one, Shift G. Let's use a different group, Group 2, and just make it a media razor edit lead. Then we'll choose Guitar 2 and make it a media razor edit follow. So now, if I move this item, they both move together because they're grouped. But if we just move this item, it doesn't move this item because this item is a follower and this one is a leader. So this item is never going to follow this one. This one always leads while this one always follows, giving us more flexibility. So if we wanted to move both together, just grab the first one. Or if we just want to move the second one, we could do that down here. So that's how lead and follow works. Now this will also work with razor editing. Again, we'll select our drums. Right now they're turned on for lead and follow razor editing. So if we create a razor edit, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and right drag, it creates a razor edit. We could use for deleting it, or moving it, or copying it and pasting it. But notice, when we create that razor edit, it does it on all the drums at the same time, because these tracks are grouped. If we turn it off over here, they're not. We can create razor edits separately on each track. Or we'll turn it back on and create them as a group. Just makes it easier, so we don't have to select from here and drag all the way down to here. It automatically creates a razor edit on all the tracks in that group. And if you created a folder for your tracks, let's create one for the drums. Let's put it up here and select the drums and drag them into here to be a folder. Now the drum tracks are all in this folder track. We can use a trick. Let's select all the drums again, Shift G. Let's clear this and set it up where the first track is the Media Razor Edit Lead, and the drum tracks are the Media Razor Edit Follow. So now we can use this trick to create razor edits on our items as a group or not. We can click up here, create a razor edit, and it razor edits all the drums. Or we could do it down here in our kick, and they're completely separate because these tracks are just followers of the group. So if we want all the items in a razor edit, just do it on the folder. Now all the drums are razor edited together. So we can move them, we can cut them, we can duplicate them, or whatever we want. And we can do a similar trick for selecting our items. Let's create an empty item up here, control on the PC, command on the Mac, just draw it in, make it nice and big, and we can use this to move all our drums together. Just select it because it's bigger than the other items. They're all going to move together. So we could select it to move it or split it like this. But now we could still select our items on the drum tracks separately because they're just followers of the group, not leaders. So I could select my kick and move it or my snare or the overheads. But if I want to move it all together, just drag the empty item we put on the folder up here. We can move all our drums very quickly all together. But let's delete the folder for now. And we could also use temporary edit groups. Let's select our drum tracks again. This is basically a temporary group. But now if we go over here to the toolbar button and right click, we can choose the options that are off by default to automatically group selected tracks for media or razor editing. So if we choose this, whenever we select multiple tracks, we can then move with that same behavior. Grab the kick, move it together, or the snare, and they all behave like a group without having to set it up before. Again, it's just a temporary group, but a temporary edit group, which you have to turn on over here because it's off by default. 
And it'll also work with razor editing. Select our drums, create a razor edit, and it razor edits all the tracks together. Either selecting them or razor editing them. And we could also create a temporary group by choosing this one, which is also off by default. And it's going to automatically group all tracks for media and razor editing. Again, it's off by default, but if you turn this on, any item that encloses other items is going to group the smaller items. So if I select my kick, they all move together. It won't work for the vocal because it's smaller, but any of the bigger items will automatically group together like this. The drums moves the whole project. And the same thing for razor editing. So if you want to razor edit your entire project, we could just do it right from here and delete it or move it, cut it, paste it. But again, this option is off by default. And this toolbar button turns on and off our grouping. So that's pretty much it. That's track edit grouping in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.